today we are going to do a little natural sledge okay she does not want all of the extras and piles and piles of makeup so i'm just going to lightly give her something that fits her she has nice freckles why do we want to cover those up okay anywho um i'm using the avino uh positively radiant wipes their makeup wipes but guys when i mean to tell you i wake up in the morning and wash my face with these things like they are everything they make me youthful they just have my skin glowing and shiny oh my god i love them so i don't even use a rag at this point <laughs> i just use those but after i use that wipe since it's wet i want to go right in and um comb the brows up okay so that way they would stick and be stuck that direction as they dry and then i just put the uh that sheer powder on there just to kind of make a matte and not have it shine through the product i'm going to use which y'all know i use a pencil cover girl no it's not even cover girl it's maybelline so uh, i just pat that powder in before i even start the brow i find that that way for me is they last longer okay like somebody's gonna come and pay you a couple dollars to do their brows and guess what they can sleep on them and they're just like gone so it's like that helps it to last longer with the powder method for me and um i just go in and i outline underneath first okay because sometimes for me i may not even have to hit the top okay and even if i do hit the top because everybody's brows isn't the same you know she may have some um areas that needs a little tint i'll hit that top but i don't have to blend as much okay so when i'm drawing my lines my honeys i'm really trying to get them perfectly so therefore i won't even have to probably outline with conceal and do all of that extra stuff but sometimes if you just have to do it okay to make a little more of a little brow but that's all i'm doing is using my pencil and i'm outlining and at this point i am trying to get them the same okay we know that they they're never twins they're sisters as they say so just get them as close as possible okay now at this point you would say hmm it's enough pencil i do have to conceal so once you go into conceal boom you're ready set go and you match them up okay then once you get them all matched up my honey you take that little spoolie brush okay mine's is wreck <laughs> but still getting that job done <laughs> so i don't throw things away until i replace them okay but i have found that elf has a spoolie stick and i had been looking for that and i got it and don't know where it's at okay so now that my daughter is 18 she's into this stuff a little bit it's getting on my last nerve because i can't keep up with nothing like <laughs> everything is always lost i'm not organized as it is so when i go looking for stuff and it's not there i already know to turn to her if days have passed she's like oh i don't know so now we it's just lost until it just gets found okay then you got kj okay playing and stuff he likes to take things and put it off into other things so you would never think to go look in the dryer for your dang old makeup palette but that's kj <laughs> so anywho we are using what we have my honeys and as you can see i just kind of um take that spoolie okay i'm moving that product around i'm moving it where i want it okay i'm trying to make a shade over that skin area there that's why i added that extra line just so therefore once i do go in to conceal okay that area will look nice and shaded so to give that brow you know that gradient effect from light to dark but i'm taking the tippy top of that spoolie and i'm trying to get in there as close to the line as possible so i don't leave a line there and then i take the rest of the product that's on the spoolie not adding any more and then i just brush it through the hairs and look i haven't had to add any more of the pencil because i just kind of spread it throughout like you do butter on bread you know what i mean so um that's more of a natural brow there it's not uh super producty or anything like that then i go in with the conceal and believe you me my honeys i hate this part <laughs> like you have to be an artist to get this down pack sometimes that's why they're not twins they're just sisters but it doesn't matter as long as you get them as close as possible we're not letting none of that bore with us okay
And this process right here, my honeys, could be so simplified if you draw them on already perfect. You know what I mean? At least as perfect as it could get. And then anything that's not aligned or looking right, this stuff is just supposed to clean that up. Okay, so it's like I went in there with that spoolie, with that pencil, and I tried to make them perfect from the gate. <laughs> so therefore, when I go through this process, it's not much to do, okay? Because if you do this eye cute 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 and then you get over to the other eye, you just cannot match it and it's like oh wow but if the pencil was already matchy you know if you drew it on right you wouldn't have to even worry about this process okay so just be careful have a steady hand you will want to have like your pinky or something rested on the forehead the nose anything just so your hand is steady because one little uh you done messed up okay the curve that you're trying to achieve <laughs> And now you gotta go match the other eye to that mess up and it just could become a whole tedious process okay it happens to me all the time so i'm pretty used to it and um if i can help you guys not to make those mistakes that's what i'm here for right so once i get them kind of drew out i go in with the um like a fluffy brush my honey i'm kind of dragging the product down but also i'm really tapping Okay, you don't want to just drag and be pulling it away from the brow because guess what? It ain't doing nothing but smearing left and right. You want to be patting it into the skin as well with that fluffy brush. So, I didn't try to put too much concealer because guess what? Once you get to patting it out, it has to go somewhere. You see how it's all in the middle of her nose area and this and that. So, out, you want to keep it above the eye, especially when you're going for a natural makeup look like this because... That stuff is light, and then you're putting it along that nose, and then you're going to be patting it along around the eyes and all of that. Then you got to go in and kind of, um, you know, put your makeup color over that. Or you will maybe have to wipe that down and blend it out, because you don't want no sharp lines. You may have to wipe that out to cancel it and then blend it out with a sponge or something and then proceed to your makeup, you know, so... Um, I used that those two shade lighters for that bottom, but at the top, my honey, she's like my complexion, so I'm just using my um, I got the Smashbox um, foundation that I'm using. Whatever color was left on that brush from the bottom, which is clearly lighter than you know the top, I don't wipe it off the brush. I keep it on there because it do give some type of highlight to the top of that brow as well and by the time i rub that in and everything and get over to the other eye it's not as much of the light uh concealer on there at that point so um i wouldn't really add any more per se i would just be putting more foundation on the side that i previously done just to darken it up okay so boom that's what i pretty much did now I'm just making sure it's kind of perfect, my honeys, to how I want it. Because once you go into the other brow, that's what you're going to be trying to match. Okay, so you want to be done with this unless you mess up and it have to come back. But you want to just be done and get it all out the way now. And then I always like to go in with the sponge because that helps to just push it into that skin, honey. And it just melts it and makes it look very, very natural in that skin. So, y'all know I'm recording with my camera or whatever. But, um, it's an autofocus on there, which, since it's zoomed in, it's going to be catching everything but what I want. So, that's why it keeps blurring. But, um... It does pretty good with knowing where I'm at with things and catching what I want it to catch. But I could kind of like, you know, edit out the blur. But then I will be kind of messing up the vision that you guys need to see. Okay, so it's only blurry for a couple seconds. And then it, it usually bounces back. And my honeys, the reason that I am 
on the other side of her face doing the other side of her face okay it's not only for you guys to catch it you know and see it because my hair would be in the way but also I am trying to match them so I have to look at that side to get that side perfectly and as an artist you know what I mean I need to be close up on the side that's already done so therefore I can kind of see what needs to be done on the opposite side so that's pretty much all um why I'm on the whole other side of her face but when you guys go in and do this part you will really want to blend it out like once you think you've done and you got it right you will go in and just blend it out okay once you blend it out it shows a lot of mistakes it shows the differentality it shows everything so then you go back in and just clean up where necessary so sometimes on this part you don't want to focus too much on it because it's like oh wow you won't you won't get it until you actually blend it out and then see the difference like oh wow that one is all the way up there that one is down there like you don't want your client or yourself look like you're frowning you know you want to match them as close as possible so usually when you blend it out then that's how you can notice and see other mistakes my honey's So when I say that when you start blending and everything, it got to go somewhere, right? So all that product that I have above that brow, okay, we don't just need it all packed up right there. That gives you that fake look, okay? So smear it on out, spread it on out, distribute it throughout, okay? And the more you distribute it throughout the face, you don't need to be putting extra foundation on certain areas. So. I took it from that brow area and I kind of swung it around the back of the eye and brought it up in there and kind of blended it with the lighter concealer, okay? That also helps for that natural look as well. And then that middle for the two brows, you know, when you're trying to get the lines out of there and stuff like that, because I don't like a line in front of my brows. I don't like it to stand out like that. I like it to just look blended. But I take that sponge as well with all that product on it. I don't add anymore. I just use what's already there. And then I go down the middle of that brow. Okay. I go along that forehead. Like I said, I go off into blending it onto the, the lid. Okay. And it's just, it got to go somewhere. But um, now I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro. And there goes the um, foundation I use, the Studio Skin. And I put a little bit on the back of my hand because I'm going in now cleaning up the nose area where I have that light at. Remember, like, I don't want it to be that light. So I'm toning it down with her complexion foundation. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit a little bit under the eye, a little bit over the eye, but nothing major. A little bit goes a long way, mine. Okay, this look right here will just show you that a little bit goes a long way. I have done nothing major or extra. And her end results looked like she just had a whole goddamn on face done. And it wasn't even that serious, okay? <laughs> but that's my everyday makeup look. I could tell you that for sure. Look at that, my honey. Just that little bit went a long way. We're really just trying to cover up dark spots. We're not trying to hide any of her natural beauty, okay? Just any dark spots that may be from when you're sick and around the nose and all that. But that's my Smashbox, my honey. It's a eyeshadow primer and OMG. When I mean to tell you, them shadows stick, okay? Oh, wow. I really, really love it. Um, usually, when you want your shadows to be bold, you will wet your brush and... Um, go through it that way but with this primer you don't even have to do that you just go straight in with the shadow and it picks it up so well 
but I put that over that lid and I blend that out as well off into the lighter contour I put up there and um not contour lines lighter concealer I put up there I just blend it all through the eye evenly so it doesn't be patchy and when you go to put the shadow on there you know and you go to blend it out so it doesn't just look chunkly set there you want this primer to be um, as flat as possible and blend it as well so that it will blend the shadows out right okay so I do it with that brush pat 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 and then I go in with that sponge pat 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 so you never really want to drag it because you're just pushing it into the brush moving it around you're not actually pushing it into the skin so that sponge like I said just follows up pushing it into the skin now my honeys I know y'all know we done came a long way okay so this is a Sephora little new palette that I have that I had to rescue out the fire when my house burned down okay so I did was able to recover some of my items um that was definitely smoke damaged okay that's why the case is so black or whatever but uh you see when I open it them colors are still vibrant so that's why it looks that way but it's just a new palette for your everyday um wear you just may want to add a little bit of this a little bit of that you don't want to go too dark you know but it has all the colors in there in case you do want to go dark and have that nice cat eye and as you can see i went in and i took that brown that was next to the black so it's like uh it goes from cream all the way to the darkest color which is black and i just took the color before the actual darkest color which is a brown okay like a real dark brown and that's what we're going to create a wing with today versus um the black okay because we want it to be as natural as possible so that brown you know i'm putting it on there and you see how i'm kind of creating it okay i'm trying to make it wingy so when you go in you you, you kind of put it where you exactly would want it now as i will go to blend okay which once you feel like you put enough in that area and that you're patting it in you patting it in because you don't wipe mine as you pat and once you see that the brush is kind of you know getting the uh product has came completely off then you start moving up blending out okay like right here that brush is naked okay <laughs> i have used all the product off of that brush on the other eye so instead of dipping it back into that palette i just went over to the other eye and started blending with whatever was left which was not much okay and that just kind of helps to get that flawless blend okay so you don't gotta keep dipping into your palette keep dipping into it first get your vision set this is my vision it's pretty set now I go in dipping and just making it darker as dark as you may want it my honeys you can even have one in and added a little black over it you will not lose sight of the brown it will have just intensified the brown but um we're not going for that look today for her we're just going to keep it brown so i just added more brown as i went just to get it more intense and darker but other than that it, it came out really well because the blending you know was i just lightly blended it when no product was on the brush i didn't keep adding product as i tried to blend as well because you would never blend it out that way either my honey you just have to get a clean brush to blend or pat all the product you could off of that brush take a paper towel wipe it a little bit off if it's too much still there and then start blending up so it's ways around it it's ways around it money and i really hope all this is making sense because i'm doing a voiceover i'm watching it i see what i'm doing and i'm trying to bust it down for my honey you know what i mean so that's why i kind of like when i do it and i'm doing it and i'm talking with you guys as i'm doing my own makeup because we sitting here we really busting it down but right here right now you know i'm just trying to give you everything i have so i hope that it's kind of making sense or whatever even though you could see exactly what i'm doing and i'm probably talking too much <laughs> but y'all know how i am okay i don't have a filter so i'm going in with that lightest shade where it was like the second to lightest and i'm gonna put that in that inner corner and just kind of keep patting it, keep patting it, keep going into the palette. Get more and more and more until it gets as light as I would want it, okay? Now, for me, it wasn't picking up that good. And I know I was just doing all that hollering about the Smashbox. But <laughs> I could have went and added more Smashbox in that area. Or I could have went and wet the brush, okay? And then I would have had that the color that I was desirely looking for. 
But I went on ahead and said forget it because like I said, it's supposed to be more of a natural look. And we don't need it all extra, you know, whatever. Because once you throw that liner on there and them dang on lashes... It's gonna look good. It's gonna all come together. And my honeys, after I put that cream shade on there, I didn't go back in with any brown product on that brush. I just picked that brush up and went to blend the cream into the brown that was already there. So I didn't add any more brown to the brush. I just picked it on up. And when you add in two, three, four, five colors to your eye, you need two, three, four, five brushes. So I'm only adding two colors today, and I only have two brushes. So you always will float between the two to keep everything nice and blended and stuff like that. So I put that cream, and the cream kind of overpowered my brown. So I just picked up my brown um, brush that I had used and just patted over the cream, okay, not adding anything extra. And then it just made everything seamlessly blended, okay? So, um, that's my e.l.f., okay? It is an eyeliner. Uh, it dries matte black. I just love it. Love it or whatever. Y'all know me. I love a little wing. I don't know. Like, I feel naked without a wing. You know how some people feel naked without lashes? Like, I feel naked without a wing. But I'm going to try to do more looks that I don't actually need it. And if I don't do a wing, then I'll be filling that area with black. Okay, so it's just for me, I love a dark eye. I don't know why, but everybody's not into that. And I don't always have to do it because I don't always do it. But um, I was being a little extra for her doing my little wing liner. So I come up from that bottom, okay. I start at the top now. I used to start at the back of the eye, but... I start at the top now and then I bring it back and then I start from that bottom to connect it to the top okay you could do it either way you could do it from start from the back and drag it to the front just see what works for you my honey's like um I showed you guys multiple ways of it and this is just one way that I have learned to do so that you can get the real effect of a cat eye a cat wing rather that makeup right there my honey's is true complexion okay black radiance true complexion custom concealer i went to walmart and i got all of these different kinds and they should they have ones with different shades in them this one is light to medium okay i have one that's from medium to dark and that's mainly for when i do my uh wig you know my lace wig and i have clients of all different shades i just really went and picked up every color of it from walmart um therefore i can have that for you know when I do hair but as far as makeup goes it works just the same okay I got these different shades coming through and that worked perfectly for her and now I'm just going around um, her little cheek area stuff like that just kind of further concealing it because once I go in and start adding the shine and this and that it will have something to stick to okay because most of that stuff does not stick well on your, just your skin because your skin is filled with the oils and stuff. But um, sometimes it's necessary to use a little makeup over little areas just to get uh, the full effect of it. Like later in the video, you're going to see that I put makeup over her lips, you know, because we're going to go in and, and do lips today. So it's like that makeup helped that pencil stick on there, help that lipstick stick, and it lasts longer, my honey.
when I mean to tell you, my honey's a little bit goes a long way. We're not even using much product at all for this look. And that is a um, blush palette that I've had for the longest as well. And this is like one of the only shades that I use out of it. I have tried to use it before if like for um, an eyeshadow or whatever, which is cute. But none of the colors in there is natural or neutral enough for me. But um, we're going to give her just a little tad of blush, okay? Bring that on now. And she has got her own lashes, which is these 3D Fox Mink lashes. And I will say, my honey, I have the lashes. Kale's Hair and Beauty, okay, my honey? So I have the website set up. I have lashes. I have uh, some combs. I have... Um, let me know down below, my honeys, if you are interested for me to make a video of the inventory, okay? Because they're sending everything. I have ordered it. And it's coming one by one, but at this point, I feel like I'm only waiting on one more um, purchase, which was the bonnets, okay? So, um, leave a comment below. Let me know if y'all want to see that video. But, yes, we have lashes, my honeys, and a few other items. And the website is up. It is kaleshairandbeauty.com. So, just go check it out. Let me know what you think. I really wasn't trying to do that until I had everything, but at this point, I just received today the dang on lashes. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just about to go ahead and go for it. We would just be waiting on bonnets at this point, but they're coming. They are coming, my honey. Back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Look how I added that black at the bottom. Nothing major, okay? It's just a little eyeliner. And then I'll go in and kind of blend it out, give it smoky, okay? That's why I didn't add, like, too much black at the top lid because I knew I would bring that bottom eye out, too. And look, just a little bit went a long way. I did nothing but put one little strip, and then I'm going to blend that out. And it just it looks more natural this way. I just love it, love it. She loved her makeup, by the way, because she ain't really into all of that, okay? But what woman would not love, you know, a little bit of extra enhancement? But we don't want to just cover up how we look, okay? And then we around her catfishing people. Now, that's cool, my honey, for that birthday slay, for that this, for that, you know, little certain things, like, you know. But you don't ever want to have no full-blown face of makeup on meeting no guy. You know what I'm saying? You want to meet this man genuinely and have him say, oh, your skin is good but you got a little flaws there but i still like it i like you okay versus you come up out that makeup after already meeting him and he's like oh no baby i need you to put that makeup back on i don't like relationships like that i like to meet my men out in public when i'm just running to the store ain't did nothing to myself <laughs> and i know i look bad but he still on it like that's how you want to meet your man and then we all go on your date and you hit them with the flex other makeup. Oh, baby, you a natural air you can slay. Oh, yeah. That's when it, it all comes together, okay? But anyhow, <laughs> we're going back to this, these lips, okay? There I go putting that makeup on there. I just kind of put, you know, her color, which is that Smashbox or whatever. I could have used that True Complexion as well. So anything that you have, my honey, should just put a little bit kind of put too much but who cares you know the more you kind of will use i think the last the longer it will last you know you go around she probably about to have her a few drinks or whatever she's gonna eat some food she ain't gotta really worry about her um lipstick leaving 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 okay she can just touch up the color versus the um the outline or whatever so i told y'all i still have not found a pencil for my lips so i'm still using my brow pencil <laughs> maybelline okay it comes out just how i want it for those lips and until i find me a, a proper pencil like that they have the pencils out here but it's the ones that you have to um sharpen you know and i just think it's quicker for me to just use what I got already instead of going through that. I want to find a pencil that rolls up, okay, and, and I can put on my lips as well. So, either way it go, you use a nice brown pencil, okay. I would even like it to be browner than this because once you go adding that color over it, it's not going to do nothing but give it this gradient look and it's just so sexy, my honey. But this brown is, is, is pretty okay because it comes out potent comes out real good it's not like I have to go over it 50 million times just to get the color to show and that's my problem I'm having finding a pencil that they're not potent they're not coming out good but this dang on eyeliner 
okay? <laughs> I mean, this brow pencil my fault, Ronnie. It comes out great, just everything I want. So, um, you're gonna put that on. I made a little video, a little clip it on a, a IGTV on Instagram with um, me doing my lips just like this. This is my everyday lip. And that's what she said. She like, I want my lip like yours in that video you put on Instagram. I'm like, okay, that's nothing. I got that. <laughs> so that's my everyday lip, okay? I don't go off into changing anything about it. And it's the same all the time. So I don't know if I probably could just go ahead and post that, uh, post that little clip of video, IGTV. And, um, but it, I, it's, it's not YouTube looking, okay? It's, it's more straight up and down. Facebook looking. So I don't know if that would work, but oh well, we need footage. It's like, hell, where you been? Okay, I'm gonna just put whatever I got. And this uh, is a matte lipstick, my honeys. It got like a little undertone of pink, but y'all know I'm looking for that one that has the undertone of brown, like a coffee type of new brown. You know, not the new pink, but it works until uh, I find it. But it's matte. It, it's like, it's not it's not where you put it on and it's wet and you gotta wait for it to dry type man it just comes on man oh my god it is beautiful i got this from my local hair store they're just called matte sticks okay and they're lipsticks and they got every color you could think of so if you like red purple orange whatever color you could possibly think of and whatever color that you think that you will wear on your lip always use an outline first don't ever just try to go in with a color my honey's because then you'd be looking clowny okay <laughs> like you go in with an outline first as your guide so she, well, i couldn't get her to actually blend it out just by patting it i took a brush look at that I took a little brush and i just went right over that line and pat 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 okay i didn't drag anything I'm just mixing the two. The brush did all the work. That's it. I just pat, 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 pat. And that's how you would put on your lipstick, okay? Get you a nice little, little brush for them lips, a little uh, brown for the outline, and whatever color you're going to put in there. And then you go on in and you pat it. That's it. And them lips will be marvelous. Now, if you lose sight of the outline, you can always go in and add more. Because I will, as you can see, I will be going in and adding more. But, um... You would add more of that, then you could just add a little bit more of the color and just pat and blend some more until you get your desired look. You just got to keep adding, my honeys, and do what you got to do to make it work. And yes, my honeys, I have served her every bit of this slayage that she got going on with this wig. And she got her hair done like maybe three days ago. And this day was her friend's uh, birthday, so she came back just to get her little makeup done for that. And yes, my honeys, those Zodiac sign hair clips is on the website, so she purchased hers the day she got her hair done. Of course, she's a Virgo, but I have every sign um, out there, so check it out, my honeys. Let me know what you think about it. And I love, love, love her lashes, my honeys. I have some just like it. So like I said, just go check out the website. I haven't added the pictures on there yet of, of each lash that I have, but that's why we can go through our inventory together. So just leave me a comment again if that's something that you want to see so you can know what we have, all right? But other than that, honey, 
please like, comment, share if need be, okay? And don't forget to subscribe, my honeys. And also, hit that notification bell. So, therefore, you can know everything about every upcoming video, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to get more consistent with it. Things are definitely falling into place at this point. My inventory's coming. I've been waiting for it. It's here. It's, this is a really exciting moment for me, okay? So... I'm like, let me get back to it with everything I got going on, okay? Things are starting finally to, to see, see through. So, yeah, it's like now I can finally start focusing back on what I love to do, which is recording, making my videos. I'm going to have a really exciting, it ain't even exciting, but I have a really good video coming out, okay? Somebody asked me to do a video on the eczema thing or whatever. So, yeah, I got that coming. That's a real thing, my honey. So... If you don't want to miss that, like I said, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also, you know, uh, the bell so you will know when these videos are coming because I shoot facts on my channels, my honey, okay? But at this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Say it, man. <laughs> okay, the next one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, well. Bye, guys. Love you guys.